Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Cartoon Mark is here tonight on a Saturday Night Live. Hello, hello, hello. Today, we're going to be drawing some head shapes. We're going to push those head shapes, and we're going to use some former caricature customer guests of mine as example. So that's my original drawing, when I, what I did live. And we're going to try to... Uh, Relook at these a little bit better, and but I think this one was a good shape actually. So here we go. Pardon the uh, noise. I have a fan going. So if you hear that, that's what that is. All right, all right, all right. Let me just plug in the phone here. And thanks for joining. Appreciate it. And uh, we're trying this new setup. I think we're plugged in. So let's see if we can make this bigger. Ah, there we go. All right, let's start with this young man's face. So what I'm seeing is um, Shamar. Hey, Shamar, how you doing? Good to see you. So if you were to go at this live, you know. Shamar, where are you from? I, I remember you told me a million times, but I keep forgetting. I think it's, I think it is, uh, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> so we're not going to be doing too much detail. I just want to focus on the head shapes and like, oh, Guyana, Guyana. That's nice. Awesome. I will look that up on the map. I did look that up on the map. I love geography and looking at maps and stuff. So thanks for joining, my friend. So this guy here, I'm seeing a rectangle shape. So I'm going to draw the head shape first. Usually, I don't draw the head shape first. I draw the features first, the nose but and then the eyes and the mouth. But today, we're going to do... Um, the uh, features, or the uh, head shapes. Let's just start with that hairline. Okay. It's coming down like that. Got a little bit of a sideburn. Got kind of a three quarter view going on. He's got a lot more mass below the eye line. Let's do the face shape now. And I am seeing a larger uh, chin. I think that's a good head shape right there. All right, let's hit the ear. And I never do this. I never draw face uh, head shapes first. I always start from the inside. But tonight we're trying something different. And always exaggerate your ears. You want to look. To see if they have lobes or no lobes. Uh, he obviously has some lobes. So that would be a great start right there. And I'll, we'll come back to the features. We want to do the features? Yeah, let's stay with it. It's hard for me to get sidetracked. I'm seeing smaller eyes that are kind of pushed together in a longer nose. So that's a longer T-shape, like Tom Richmond speaks of the T-shape. So let's start with the eyes. And again, they're kind of small and squinty. So that's what we're gonna depict. Let's hit the other one. And they're closer together, okay? Again, this is caricature, so we are exaggerating. Eyebrows.
kind of light. This one's kind of down more. And draw those in. Again, we're not going for details today. But just shapes. Let's make caricature very simple. Simple shapes. Okay. I would say his nose would be the, the main feature to exaggerate here. Just have that bump that comes out. going to really exaggerate this nose almost like a diamond shape right there it does come down like that a little shading underneath oh yeah that's a good nose let's put the eyeballs in there have a little line underneath there. These guys, from what I remember, were a great couple. They were really nice. Really nice to talk to. It uh, reminded me of myself when I was a volunteer fireman. This was at a firehouse gig, a fire department gig, and I was also a volunteer fireman for about 11 or 12 years. And talking to these guys, I got to kind of relive all the, all the, all the lingo, you know, the firehouse jargon. Uh, she actually drives the trucks. She just became certified as a driver also, and that's really cool. And it's an old Mac they drive, big old Mac truck. All right, there's your eyes. Um, now the mouth. He's got some teeth showing there and uh, kind of curves down. The mouth curves down on the corners. Let's do that. He does have a little bit of a, whatever you call that, filbrum, filtrum, underneath indentation, underneath the nose. So let's make this simple, all right? lips kind of flare like that. It's weird. It's got some different style lips I've uh, never really seen before. A little bit of the bottom teeth are showing. And you're uh, darkening them in there. Always use that negative black space to uh, push your drawings forward, guys. And we're going kind of slower tonight just because we can. Now it's taking shape. I'm a little worried about that mouse, but I think we got it good. All right, it does have a larger bottom lip. Let's give him that. All right. Nice. I, I kind of like this one. I also like the one I did at the event. Because, guys, it's hard drawing live at events. Um, you're distracted. You have to talk to people. Whereas here in your home studio, it's a lot different. It's relaxed, you can have your coffee, relaxing, no distractions. Out here, as you can see, if you want to be a live caricature artist, you're going to have people in the background looking over your shoulder. People are eating, music is playing, DJs are playing, lights are flashing, cameras are flashing, people are watching your every move. Um, so it's not for the faint of heart, you know? chain really quick. Alright. <clears throat> I 
I, uh, I, I kind of like, uh, let me see, I, what, what did I miss? His uh, smile line there. He's got a line here and here. So let's just give it light. See, they're young people, and they don't have many uh, of those smile lines just yet. So we'll, we're going to leave it at that. I could do a little more, but we're not going to want to keep it simple. Let's move on to the young lady. Um, can you see? Can you guys see her? I think you can. All right, let's draw her. All right, well, let's go with the head shape. I'm seeing another rectangle type shape but I'm seeing a lot of forehead okay well let's start with the head the uh the head shape I never draw this way I always draw from the inside out so tonight we're just trying something different by drawing the head shape first and then the features okay there's that messed up a little bit there. Well, that's going to be the hairline, so we're good. We're good. And we're not focusing too much on the clothing today. That's a, that's a good start. All right. Let's hit the hair quick while we're here. Yeah, feel free to follow along, guys. Pause the video. Do whatever you want. I don't care. You can have at it. Copy from me if you want. But then make it your own, you know. But feel free to use my... Uh, photo as a reference all right what do you notice about her eyes i'm noticing one eye is a lot more open than the other one yeah the left eye is more squinty and her eyes are pointing in down like this at an angle um you know the weird thing these guys have a lot of similar features and i almost asked i, I knew they weren't brother and sister but uh, they could pass for that. And I mentioned something. And if I remember it correctly, they said, yeah, we get asked that a lot. <laughs> okay, so now here you got to be careful when you draw the head shape first. Because what you got is what you got. You can't adjust. So I am, again, keep in mind we're seeing a lot of forehead. So let's keep things a little lower to exaggerate that forehead. So let's get that first eye. Mm. Lashes. She's got some heavy eyebrows for a young lady. Okay. Now this eye is a lot more open than the other one. So it might look a little odd, but you have to kind of draw what's there to get that likeness, guys. I think that's good. We left enough room for the forehead. That's what I was worried about. Now she's got a distinct looking nose there. It is hot, guys. It's 95 right now. And I don't have AC in this art studio. Because uh, we, we put the AC in the other uh, bedroom. So we're sweating it out. We got a fan running. So if you hear that, that's what it is. Again, I'm moving... A lot slower than I would when I'm live. Okay, her nose kind of 
bulges out at the sides there and it's got a little roundness to the bottom. You're not seeing much of the nostrils. So remember that and I think that's good. That's a good nose right there. We're going to darken. She's got some heavy eye makeup on. So I'll hit that again on the upper lid. All right, there we go. All right. And she's got a thinner upper lip. I have a trick for my, when they have the thin upper lip, or you can do it when they have a regular lip too. I just use a, a, a black line. Instead of drawing two lines, one for the upper part of the upper lip and one for the lower part of the upper lip, sometimes that, that can trip you up. So, again, her smile curves down. She's got one of those upside-down smiles. So keep that in mind. She does have a little thingy there. So here we go. Here's your bravery test, like Bob Ross. All right. That's it. Remember, teeth kind of wrap around. They're not just straight, you know? So you got to remember that. It's a lot you got to remember when you're out there drawing live. Go, there we go. Um, we're going to put the teeth lines in. Again, I put implied teeth lines. You don't have to draw every line. But you can see the top of her teeth. Okay? You want to pay the gum line is what I'm saying. You want to remember that. So we're going to show the whole gum line here. Very lightly, that's it. And then don't, don't, I don't draw the line all the way down. I just draw it, an indication of it like that. And you can see the bottom of her teeth, so we're going to indicate that as well. Very lightly. And I think that just made the likeness even better. Bottom lip. A little highlight. Little bit of a smile line coming straight out here. Again, not too many lines on the young folks' faces. She has some dimples, very faint dimples. Look, so I wonder if I gave her those dimples in my live drawing. I will look in a minute. <laughs> okay, and let's do the eyes. Notice how her eyes kind of you always want to see where the white is showing, like. Her eyes kind of take up a lot of her um, pupils, you know, take up a lot of the space. So keep that in mind in order to get a likeness, too. And she has dark eyes, so we're not going to give the uh, secondary highlight. We're just going to leave the one highlight. So she has brown eyes, so color the whole thing in black. The other one, again, this eye is a lot more open than that one. I have that going on too, and there was only one artist who got that on me. Out of all the artists who drew, I think, no, I think one other artist, two artists, but one artist in particularly got that correct on me, and it was Tom Richmond. The other one was Paul Vinizé. All right, yeah, this eye definitely is a lot bigger, but hey, that's that's what I'm seeing. Awesome. Let's see if I gave her the dimples in the uh, live drawing. No, I didn't. I I, I, I messed up. I messed up a little bit on her with the smile lines. I gave her the generic ones, and I should have went from the nose down and gave her dimples. But um, still, um, what do you guys think? Um. I kind of like it. Yeah. All right. And if you wanted to shade it in quick, like quick shade in, um, 
Again, I have my Prismacolor art sticks right here. So I'll show you how to shade in lighter colored hair on this guy. Um, so here's my Prismacolor art sticks. We have all different colors, guys. But this is how much I use the black. That's all that's left. And I can't, I don't think they make these anymore. There's like something going on where they don't make them. So I'll just color her in first. And then I'll show you the trick on how to use this to show lighter colored hair. So her hair is obviously darker. And you know what? I gotta take some paper off behind here because of my foam pad. All right. So now there's a foam pad under here, guys. That's what you need. I got this at Walmart. It was a dinner placement mat. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. And you'll see why in a second. Um, Why do you see the, the gradients of, of line you can get with, with that pad and these sticks? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Always leave a little highlight for a little shine. You know, you see some shine in her hair. So I will leave that, but I'm pressing really hard. You might not be able to tell. So we're going to fill in most of her hair, except for that highlight. And turn your paper, too, when you're doing this. Because these color sticks can get away from you, if you know what I mean. And you know what I mean if you're an artist and you use these things one wrong move one one wrong swipe and you can ruin a drawing and I've, I, I've done that because they can uh, really get away from you is what I'm saying it's hard for me to describe it but they can leave a line or if there's a piece of dirt or a piece of dust on it that can screw these things up as well as a little bit right there might not be able to catch it on the camera. I'm going to spin the drawing just because of the angle. Don't be afraid to do that. Nothing wrong with that at all. See, this is way more of a natural movement for my arm. Use your arms. Don't use your wrists. You know, use your wrist kind of here for details, but... All right, hit the eyebrows. I hit the lower part of the lip when I do this. And I give a little bit on the teeth, little arches, like archways, and a shadow on the gum line as well. Thank you for the thumbs up. And I also do this. There's an indentation in the nose where the eyes meet the nose. So you gotta show that, you gotta show depth. So here's your bravery test, right? Go See how much more depth your drawing can look with just a little bit of shading? And underneath them, right at the bottom of the nose, I give a little bit. And definitely in that section right there. A little bit on the forehead. Not much. A little bit on the cheeks. A little bit there. And I like to uh, the, the give a little bit of a, uh, a drop shadow here, a curved drop shadow. That's going to indicate that head having all that mass, and it's going to push that face forward. See how much that just pushed it? Pushed it forward? Okay. Now we're going to show you how to color, uh, like, light-colored hair with this. You don't want to do it dark. So you just want to do a little bit. You ready? Watch. A little bit goes a long way. And it, and it reads as light hair. That's it. He has very light eyebrows. That's it for the hair. See, your job is done. You've done your job. Now... Sorry. Just do your shading on the nose, on the bridge of the nose area. 
we did before. Okay. Not too hard, very delicate there. Darken in that shaded area there. The flares of the nostrils above the lip. Also going to give a little drop shadow under the nose because this is a heavy, heavy nose here. Not too much. Okay, also on the ears. What? That's a darkened area. So there you go. And under the lip and, and into the chin. And always the top lip. See, I, I may I cheated. I, I used the marker for hers. That reads as a top lip. But look at this. The top lip is usually darker because it is in shadow by the nose. Did you know that? I learned that from a tattoo artist who did portraits, and he taught me that. And he's right. That top lip, that really pops now. And um, we're going to do the same drop shadow here. I'm going to make it right about there. Now fill that in and watch how this is going to pop this head forward, okay? Look at that. And you can add, you know, your, your little heart, your sunshine, and, and what, what have you. I'm really pleased with that. Um, again, let's look at what I did live. And, uh, yeah. I like what I did live. I really do. But I think this is a better likeness. Again, live, it's tough. It's tough to uh, concentrate. But I like it. Okay. I don't know how to get out of it. I'm new to Max, guys. I don't know, escape? Okay, yeah, escape. <laughs> Who knew? Want to do one more? What do we got? Okay. Okay, yeah, these guys. This was a more recent gig. These young ladies were really fun. Really fun. This was at a tattoo expo. Saratoga Tattoo Expo. Uh, she's got some awesome tattoos. She has... I think that's Bella Lugosi on her bicep over there. And then she had some, she was a big horror movie fan. And then her boyfriend was right there, didn't want to get drawn. He was making comments the whole time. <laughs> nice guy, funny guy. Um, so let's push these head shapes, see what we can get. All right, guys, here we go. So what are we seeing with uh, the young lady on the left? I'm seeing a very long neck. She's got a nose ring. That's what that is. It's hard to see in the picture. I'm seeing a very long face, a very rectangle type face. And I was seated, so you're getting an up, sh up view. So you got to keep that in mind as well. All right, let's do what we can with this. This is not the greatest picture. I could retouch it up in Photoshop, but I don't know. I haven't really done that. So let's just go with what we got, um, her eyes. I say her most prominent feature. What do you think it is? You're right, it's her mouth. She's got a very large mouth and a large set of teeth. Um, and distinctive eyebrows, too. All right, here we go. Um, I screwed up. I wanted to draw the, the head shape first. <laughs> oh, well. Let's run with it. We'll draw the head shape first on the next one. I'll draw this line a little lighter. All right, she's got the eyelid. I'm going to go at speed right here. 
just because we can. I'll just do it as fast as I do it when I'm live. Just to show you. And I, sometimes I won't even talk about what I'm doing. I just kind of do it, so I apologize. Um, she's got some lines under her eyes. I'm more used to drawing from the inside out. Okay, that nose. She does have a wide nose. I'm going to give her that wide nose. Okay, because we are looking up. Now, don't forget, there's a nose ring that we got to put in here. Actually, a couple nose rings. <laughs> Okay, now with that mouth, this mouth, and notice, she's got a lot of space between her nose, the bottom of her nose, and the top of her mouth, okay? So let's keep that in mind. Fix that up, all right. Again, not much of an upper lip there, and the corners of her mouth do go up, so remember, Leave some room because she's got a giant space between the nose and the mouth. And uh, she definitely has that rectangle uh, head shape. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to exaggerate a little more on this one. On the mouth. Just because we can. There we go. I really, I think my work's improving. I am really glad to see that. And uh, another artist, Phil Singer, has told me so, so I know so. And he gave me some great advice. He said, Mark, it's quality over quantity. And it's tough to remember that when we're out there live, guys. Because we have a line of people. You know? So I've been working on quality over quantity. Thanks to Phil Singer. Thank you, Phil Singer. And Rich Conley. Uh, prayers for Rich. <clears throat> Rich is a little bit sick, so... Rich, we miss you. We miss you out there, Rich. We need you back out there. <coughs> so, Rich will be back out sooner than later, hopefully. All right. I think we did a good job on this mount. I think I like where this is headed. We did some power washing on the house today. Had my buddy over. We power washed the house, 95 degrees. We started at 10, at nine, not about 9.30 we got going. And it looks like a brand new house, you know? It looks like a paint job was done. Right, she has that indentation there. Not much of a lower lip either. Let's just give her a small one. A little highlight there. A little smile line. She's got a, a piercing right there. She actually has a piercing here. You can't see that. I remember it. Girls like the piercings. And some dimples on this young lady. Okay, I'm seeing a large chin. Very large chin. I just noticed. Anybody? Okay. Oh, here we are. Sorry, I'm missing you guys. I'll catch up with you here. <clears throat> Pat Go, great channel. Thank you, Pat Go. Shamar is from Guyana. Hello, Shamar. UGP Vlogs. It's Paula. Hi, Paula. Hope you're doing well at your mom's house. You're in the alleyway with them doggies. Hey, Mark. Pat and Shamar, how is your Saturday going? You are very talented indeed, Mark. Thank you, Paula. Appreciate it. I wish you well on a good Saturday. All right, now I do the chin because it kind of anchors me in. 
it's like an anchor point to get to. So she has a very squared off chin. Okay. She does have a little bit of cheekbone poking out there. We're going to indicate that. But overall, it's a very slender, straight, angular face. I may have even made it a little too wide. No, I think it's all right. We're good. And she has one long neck. <laughs> All right. Mm, might run out of room here, huh? There, now you can see it better. All right, now the hair. Don't worry. Don't get nervous about hair. Uncle Cartoon Mark has your back. All right. First of all, before we do the hair, we want to just get a little bit of that body in because um, it could get in our way. So just quickly sketch in a little bit of a shirt here. Because what I'm saying is, if I do the hair first, <laughs> it might mess me up a little to fit the body in. And she's rocking that flannel. The flannel. Now the hair. She's got a lot of forehead too. Okay. Here's her part. Go right off the page with it. Don't even worry. Perfect. See that? Perfect. Let me try to get you over here so you can see what's going on a little better. And the other side, we're not seeing much. And she's got some piercings on that ear as well. That ear is huge. The piercing there. I think she had another one. You just can't see it the way the angle is. So we'll leave it. And just for balance, I'll just put a little bit of hair over here. And that's for balance, to balance out the drawing a little. I'll do that occasionally. Instead of it looking, and I, I, I make this, always make the outer line a bit thicker to uh, hold the drawing together, as they say. And we'll do our details. And we're finishing details, right? So don't even look at the details until towards the end, you know? She's got some wavy hair. Cool. I really like this. We'll add the eyes. And then we'll be done. I'll hit the uh, eyes. Look at look at her eyes. I and mean, there is like no white of the eyes showing. A little bit right here. But that's about it. So we're going to let very little white show. Very little of the white. Perfect. And, um, You guys think we're doing a good job? That one's a little more closed than I wanted it to be. Fix it by doing that. Fix it by doing that. Not bad. Paula, I'm still here, Mark, just in the background. That's fine, Paula. Thanks for hanging in with me. Appreciate it, my friend. 
and I'm sure you've heard this before, but I love your accent. I absolutely love it. Where are you from originally? Is it Ireland or Scotland? Or I, I, I would love to go visit Ireland. Um, I'm Irish and Italian. Um, now we're going to push this face forward with that drop shadow. Okay. You want to shade her in now, and then we'll start the other one. Yeah, let's shade it in. Let's shade it in quick. All right. Eyes. Nose. indentation under there thank you for the likes guys appreciate it lip cheeks ear meet that chin and then the hair I kind of love drawing certain types of hair especially wavy hair it's really fun. Isn't that fun? Thanks for joining me on your Saturday afternoon, evening. And finish up with this hair. I think that's a great head shape. I'm really happy with that. Okay. How about the other young lady? Okay. I don't know if I left enough room. But you got to make it work. All right. She's got some big eyes, some big... She's got a lot of things happening here. A lot of things. I'm seeing some cheeks on her. So we're going to exaggerate her cheeks. All right. Um, her eyes do angle down like that. So let's start with the eyes. All right. There's one, and they're kind of wide spread apart. Not much of an eyelid. quicker here, but we've got some things we got to go and do here. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Nose. Not too long. Now the mouth, I, she's got a, a lot of things going on with that mouth, but I can't really explain it. It's just, uh, I just kind of do it. Look at how much farther down this corner of her mouth drops. So let's keep that in mind. See that? And then it goes up like that. It is a crooked kind of a mouth that she's got. And some of those bottom teeth are showing. I may not even do the teeth lines with this young lady. We're going to see how this looks first. So this is like a cheat, a quick little cheat. I do and I don't have time to draw teeth lines. But the teeth lines, see her gum line is showing, so that would give you an even better overall likeness if you did that but I may do it we'll see uh, lip a 
lip. Uh, okay, cheeks. Definitely coming out. And then in. There we go. I can't tell what she's wearing, but it looks kind of skimpy, so we'll keep that in mind. All right, now the hair. Pretty simple. We're going to ignore the ear. The earring is going to throw this off balance. If she had the other hair pulled apart, we would see both ears. But for the sake of this drawing, we're going to eliminate that earring. I don't know. Maybe we'll put it in. We'll put it in. See how it looks. She's got some forehead showing. So, uh... Actually, let's do the uh, body first. And she's definitely got tattoo you don't know, have to go nuts with them but just indicate them that they're there okay now the reason I did that is so I can do this hair She does have a part there, it's hard to see. There we go. It's coming together. running out just in time. Alright, some finishing touches. These eyes. We definitely got the eyes are kind of pushed up. Not much of the white is showing. Dark, deep set eyes. All right, and those smile lines. Not bad. I'm going to do the teeth line. I think I need it. Okay. You notice her fangs. She's got a little bit of fangs going on. One, two, fang. Middle T, fang, small. See if this improves my likeness. Yes, it did. Success. <laughs> All right, let's black it in. We will call it a night. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate that. It's always good to look at your older drawings and see what you could have done different or better. This was at the Saratoga Tattoo Expo, and I'm very uh, thankful that they had me back over and over again. Those guys are great. I believe it's uh, Spalding Brothers. 
pull it on. You know, much better. The drawing comes together once you uh, do your shading. Okay, guys. Color in the gold tattoos there. And you're good. That's it. What do you think? I like it. That one came out good. And so did this one. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, I got to run. See you. Bye.